Oh, Georgia551 here, and it's been a while since I did a video on Slowville. The game, of course, is Minecraft, and we're going to do it full screen. And it's the Mini 210 NR 1.66 gigahertz Intel Atoms, so it's a dual core. I thought it was a single core, but I was wrong. Anyway, I found out the best way, I've tried multiple things, is using that guy to show you the play, the let's play on that screen there. And fortunately with this camera that I'm using now, unlike the one I used before, I can control the frame rate that it's capturing and all sorts of other things, exposure and what have not, so the color wheel should not be an issue. This also provided the much, the most accurate color, the much accurate, yet yeah, good. Anyway, if things look a little blurry, that's because I've set everything manually to be focused onto that thing from the tripod. If everything appears dark, again, it's set up for the projector. And before we start, I want you to know that this is a first generation netbook a few months after, second generations one came out that can run this game a lot better. With, uh, with Optifine, the newer ones can run the game 30 to 60 frames per second, not so much in these first gens. In fact, you'll see that it was easy to count the frames as we go along. You will, however, when it comes to the projector, you might see some scan lines, but that's about it. Color wheel, no more. So what we're going to do is we're going to fire this up and we'll be on the way and okay now I'm gonna shut off a light and then set everything up all right we're ready to go as you may have noticed it's 1.4.2 1.4.6 is out I didn't bother updating because 1.5 is coming out for the new year or around there also, it's a major pain in the butt to find Optifine. Yeah, there's a link on the main Minecraft forums, but all it does is just directs you to download crappy software that is unnecessary. And I ultimately just never wind up getting Optifine in the process. So I have to search high and low for an executable. Now, you might see the camera move around a little bit. That's because... Well, the floor in this apartment isn't very strong, but it's, for the most part, focused. It is a little blurry, but that's because of the resolution. It's 1024 by 600. However, the projector thinks it's 800 by 600. In fact, every display thinks it's 800 by 600. So, no matter what I hook it up to. The TV produced a narrow image. I had another TV, it wouldn't even center. So this is actually the best way to do it. So what you're about to see is with Optifine as well. And the sound will be coming from the projector. I found a cable that will allow me to do that. In fact, if I can, I'm going to try and rotate it over the, over the laptop right now. There we go. It's kind of in the way of things. Let's load this up. I've already preloaded it, so it's probably just gonna come up real fast. And then again, maybe not. All right, we're starting in the barn, and there, it finally generated. By the way, Slowville, as you've seen it, is exactly what the uh, world seed was when I created this. Here's the cow pasture as of now. Oh, oh look, the sun's setting. Not the best of time to uh, show off. So what I'm doing now, it's easier to walk like that because it's easier to control. However, those of us in the old school days where if you got 10 frames per second on a game, that actually was considered 
pretty good. So for the most part, unless it's a chunk loading uh, slowdown, I actually have pretty good control of this. There we go. Now let's start again. There's the sun. Yes, I have a few extra things turned on because I found out with trial and error, the way I have things set up now, the frame rate literally doesn't make any difference with some other things turned off. There are all the cows. And over here we got the wheat farm. I've shown you that before. Well, it wasn't really a show, wasn't there was, or maybe a little bit, was this uh, sugarcane farm that's to build libraries. There's the pigs. Now that they require carrots, as well as the, as well as chickens, well, I can't reproduce them. Because I gotta go find another village, which it's really hard to do when you're playing on a tiny render. Because this game runs really, really slow. Anyway, you might remember the little village we found. Well, it's a little bigger now. So let's go there, shall we? This will take a very short time. It'll take about 30 seconds to get there. It's been expanded quite a bit. In fact, here's some of the housing now. This is built into a hill. So is this. This is my other quarters, which, there's the bed right there. And here's the village, and you might, if you've seen the other episode, it's quite a bit bigger. I've added quite a few more buildings. I've added doors to ones that didn't have doors. Now over here, there used to be four little buildings similar to like these little things here I'm adding adding onto that particular one I tore it down and I'm putting up I put in its place this triple decker apartment house which has four tenements a piece unfortunately things are just a tad lopsided because when I was building, building out this village, I put this four-story tenement in here. As you can hear, there's a lot of activity. There's four apartments on each floor, 16, needless to say, a lot of doors there. And I built this large triple-decker house here. Each one's got... Each one only has, each floor's got two apartments, six total, but there's separate rooms and they have doors. As well as the porch, uh, the porches have a door as well, which you can't see from here, but they exist. So the problem is they all pretty much congregated here and they abandoned the rest of the village. So what I did was is I built this triple decker here. And you can see right there, I'm pointing right to it, the head of a villager, because they've made it, uh, uh, there he goes. They've made it to this building. I've taken out a few of these, a uh, few of these crops and repositioned them here. So I could build this double-decker over here. Because the population is based on how many doors and legitimate buildings there are. And wherever the highest concentration are, is where the villagers tend to hang out. When those two buildings were built, they were all right there and behind those buildings. And this whole village was pretty much abandoned. I've got them um, getting to this building here now. So, I mean, I, there has been progress. Now they just gotta make some babies. I don't think they've gone as far as occupying this or anything beyond there. I've built this, uh, 
well, I don't know what you can call them, but in the olden days, like from 1.2 or even before that, 1.2 is the last time this worked, I called this the, kind of like the toaster trap. I don't know what the actual name of it is called. What happens here is you keep this entire thing dark and you leave slits in the bottom. And the old AI, when you put signs in where the slits are, the monsters would think that there's a solid floor and they'd walk over it, fall through, and would fall out of the trap. And in the case of this, they'd fall to their death. And no, that's not a camera trick. It's when I go under something dark, the lighting actually does darken. In 1.3, they fix that. So when there's a gap, even with signs, they stay away from the edge. So I, it's not a perfect system, but I retrofitted it with trap doors and a redstone circuit. This does work. It's just really, really slim chances because they got to pretty much be standing right on the doors in order to fall through. And I got this redstone circuit that repeats. And we hit the switch and see if anything falls. Usually it's creepers. All right, now they're all open. I don't know if that's showing up. And nothing's falling out, which is the norm. I have had creepers fall out of it before, so I salvaged this old-fashioned trap. Yeah, the, uh, the yield is pathetically low, but it works. Over here, this was not here whatsoever when I last shown you Slowville. This is going to be a library, and of course, the first thing I'm working on is where the enchantment will happen. So far, those are the amount of bookshelves that I was able to create. I know it only takes 15 bookshelves to get a full enchantment, but what I want to do is make the whole thing, you know, too high so it's symmetrical. Then everything else will be filling the building up just to make it a library. And, of course, the second floor will have some library space here. And this is the back exit. And over here, I never shut the door. It's a little patio where you can sit and read books. I never put the quote-unquote furniture in yet. That escaped my mind totally. And you could get up that way or... If I ever remember, splat, a quote-unquote ladder elevator will go there. I just never put it in. Oh, looks like our uh, food count's getting pretty low there. And it's a little, whoops, wrong button. It's a, the count is a little low to regenerate, um, one and a half drumsticks short. But unless I'm in dire need or whatever, I've also been, uh, I've also found half generated. Uh, there we go. And the sun's setting already. And over here. I've made this dirt wall. There's actually a sort of a mine over here. This is the newest one. I never got this iron. I pass it all the time and I never bothered getting it. You know what? That ends now. And yes, this is running Optifine. And like I said, I have some of the extra features turned on, which some of you are saying I should turn off, I'm sure. But trust me, I've the extra features I do have turned on, I've playtested, and the sky, the stars, 
with the sun. They literally do not change the frame rate one bit if I turn it on and off. Also, animated water and lava, the frame rate difference is so minimal, it's not really worth it. Looks too fake. And one of the things I do because of the slowdown, it's slow because there's lots of really deep caverns. What I do in that case is I, if I score a lot of dirt over time, I go in and fill them up with dirt. It helps the frame rate a little bit. Because believe it or not, this is actually running faster than, just a tad faster than it normally runs. I wouldn't say it's a miracle worker, but it's doing its job, and it spazzed there for a minute. Yeah, it's the chunk updates that tend to spin the player out of control. The natural slow frame rates I can deal with. So you can see I can control it fairly well. I mean, not perfectly, but fairly well. So that's what we got going on here with the village. And if you look at that three decker right there that I'm pointing at, it looks lopsided, but it is symmetrical. The front half is five bricks wide, and the back half is six, and the roof is symmetrical to each. And when they're both overlapping, like in that view that we just had, that's when you tend to have the uh, that's why it tends to look lopsided, but it really isn't. So you can see the iron golems have migrated more in this direction. They were all over there where the stone building was. And just to add more doors and buildings, right where these fields were, I've put, I put little sheds where you can store some of the food away. Help drag them out a little bit. villager. I've had one get stuck in the well. And they're crooks. They want emerald for six pieces of meat. Cooked raw, cooked beef, not raw. Cooked raw beef. Well, Gordon Ramsay would really not like to see that. I mean, he's seen quite a bit of that cooked raw beef. That's not the only thing that's been going on. Now I do have, now as I was showing you, I have that bookshelf that in that library, those bookshelves. I do have diamonds. But the only thing I can't seem to make right now is uh, obsidian. I've tried doing it and all I've got was cobblestone. So I need to find a lava pool and I can't find them. I haven't found any. Because as you can see right here, I have the material to build a diamond pickaxe and an enchantment table once I get the obsidian, of course. And everything will be hunky-dory. So what I'll do is I'll put those six in there right now. I've cooked up seven there. Anyway, I want to show you more. We didn't make any real progress on the uh, subway station, as seen in episode one. That's when we stumbled across that village. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you another section of the world. And what I'm going to do right now, so I don't bore you, is I'm going to fast forward till we get there. Starting now.
Alrighty, we're at the other portion of the map. And over here we have a... Uh, this is a processing plant for various ores and what have not. Over here we had boats. They disappeared. And could set sail. Over that way there's some land that's actually nearby. Over that way there's a... Uh, there's an island that we've uh, mined stuff out of, but uh, not really much there to see. And over here we got ovens and storage. I forgot what we got in here. So I'm just looking around because I haven't been to this part for a while. And four bricks. And something... Something opened up. I don't know what it is, but fortunately it's not interfering with the game. It didn't send the game out of full screen, so... What I'm going to do is when the sun sets, we'll head over in that general direction. But right now, heading completely in the direction I'm not wanting to go. I'm waiting for the fourth uh, empty drumstick to happen, because that'll fully utilize a cooked, uh, cooked steak. And over here, I pretty much mined all the ore out of the, uh, out of the ravine. In fact, you can kind of see a, uh, torch right there. And the game has come to a stop. This is nothing out of the ordinary. I don't know what it does, but sometimes for like 30 seconds, a minute, oh, there we go. The game will just stop. So what we'll do is we got a ladder elevator here. And besides this uh, ravine that I've pretty much emptied out, we've got some, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stories of mine shafts as well. Of course, it runs pretty quick here because there are, and there's nothing more there. So, I mean, that, there's not much to show you here. There is more to show you, and first things first, let's just down there. And the sun's starting to set. Also, I discovered by accident when I was uh, walking around, I've made this candle path, or torch path, which there should be another one right about here-ish. Sun's starting to set, but I'm not too worried about that right now, because we got another bed out here. You can see when the chunk updates are not the, th the culprit of slowing down, I got pretty good control over the uh, low frame rates. Over here, yeah, I built a cabin. Initially, it had no doors, no windows. And out this way, I discovered if the player wants to turn. And marked it with two candles. Down here's another ravine. And there's a couple of places that have not been explored yet. There's, I got a lot of iron and uh, other wonderful, useful stuff there. And the sun's starting to set. We'll be able to get to the processing facility before
four. It gets too dark. I hate when the render takes so long. It has a... Uh, I have literally walked into uh, unrendered territory. I mean, the physical land is there. It's just not being drawn. And it really, really sucks. Because I don't know if I make one ever so slight false move, I go plummeting. No, that's not a good example of what I was talking about in terms of plummet. Took a little dig there. And inside here, we got a bed. The sun's starting to set, but before we go and uh, worry about that, I'm gonna make a boat. I'm gonna put the boat there. I'm going to temporarily shift the. Okay, I always keep forgetting to aim away from usable objects. And I get I get poisoned that time. Yeah well. Nighty night time. Now to get to what I want to show you. Which I want five. I'm gonna just shortcut through. Over there it's just some land. do is if we go over this way there's an island that I've uh, taken advantage of some of the resources it's not the biggest island but it's an island it should be coming any moment now we got another mining center over there I I don't it's been a while since I've been there so I don't remember if I totally finished it or not there should be an island popping up pretty soon here we go right where those floating cows are Somewhere in here is the is the dock. It's not over there. Yeah, it didn't turn enough. exists. It's over here somewhere. Are you serious? Whoa, 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 whoa. All over. This is the island. I have no idea what's going on there, but somewhere over here there is a dock. I can't find it. Yeah, good job, me. Whoa, 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 whoa. I have no idea where it is. 
it's been that long. And we're in that frozen state again. Because these first generation netbooks do not play this game very well. And I've got a bunch of responses from people that have backed that up for me. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit here and look at the sun, see which way it's going. Okay, to the right is west. And uh, then it just goes wherever it wants. Yeah, be careful here. Yeah, because this is definitely, the way I'm going now is the way home. I don't know what happened, but... There is a dock here, and we're in that frozen state again. Okay, this is the most it's ever done this. Ah, there she is. Well, actually, there, yep, that's it right there. Now to get this guy to turn. Okay, I hate the, hate the control of boats in this game. It's really difficult when you're going at a low rate of speed. Sun's in a good position. This is another processing plant. Almost mirrors the one that we've been to. And I'll just swim. I don't want to kick the boat. Again, it's somewhat, almost like the one we had before. We don't have any storage bins here. We got an oven and I don't know no bed here but we come out here and we find stuff I have found uh, got these little beacons here so I know how to get back to the back to the building. Ooh, a stumbling block. You know what we do with those. Let's get rid of them. So it's another one. Oh, we got four empty uh, drumsticks. Or some, well, three and a half, but enough to regenerate. Or as Paul Sorry's juniors like juniors of course, Paul Soros Jr. likes to call them meat popsicles, or meat pops. And it kind of highlights this little cave system right there. And then we got trees over there. I'm almost done showing you everything. And I think this is as far as exploration went, because Pretty much going any further, it's just a little bit of grass, and that is all there is to it. Will we make it? Yes, we did. So what I want to do now is get back to the main building. Whatever it is. No. Splat. There's the boat. And it 
floats in weird ways. Now we want to go that way. And we go this way and we'll hit the mainland. I kind of understeered the uh, understeered the boat a little bit when I actually oversteered it because I overshot that secondary building. Which should not have happened. So again, we're gonna go floating around a little bit. So for the most part, that's what we got going right now. And we're gonna end it in the village. Okay, here we are. Slow down. Never quite, never quite got it right. I don't go here enough to remember exactly where everything is. This is not good. I'm just going to get out here. So I know I'm pretty close to at least one of the, uh, I should be close to at least one of the, uh, locations. Ah, in fact, I know what this is. And this is a path that pretty much ultimately became pointless. This was an attempt to try and find another village. Ultimately, it just winds up going to water in a uh, winter bio, so it doesn't really do much of anything. And with the torches on the left, indicates that's heading in the homeward direction. So while I actually did find my way back home a little quicker, going that way, and we're stuttering again, Oh, I left the door open. Better sleep. You can only sleep at night. I'm gonna end this at the village. There we go. So I'm almost done boring it. Now, one thing I'm not sure if it's going to pick up or not, the camera, maybe it might get some, you might get some uh, rainbow effect, because it's a DLP projector and it alternates between the red, green, and blue channels. And there's a, an extra jungle tree that I grew for massive projects when it, when it involved jungle wood. And here we come to the village where we're going to end everything. Oh, I'm going to stop right there in the upper right-hand corner. You see a zombie. Well, two zombies. They're in that toaster trap. Like I said, I don't know what the exact name of that kind of trap is. It doesn't seem to work on anything but creepers. But if it's a good way to salvage something that worked from the one point the one point two days and and needs to be a creeper so here we are back at the village we gotta figure out a way to expand it even more and we're 
frozen again. This has never frozen this many times. They have, the villagers have gone as far as this building here. In fact, you can see they're out this far. You know, see if we can move any more of these, uh, more of these crops to different areas so we can put in a building. There used to be two of them here. I moved one and completely got rid of another one and built this guy. That's one as it is. And if I combine them, I wouldn't get any any differences, so that's pointless. Anyway, I think we'll end it here at the well. Oh, and there's a little kid one running away. Oh. Hey, I wanted to see what you were going to offer before we end the show. And then he goes into the three-decker over here. Anyway, I think that'll be enough. Oh, here's a guy. Let's see if he'll deal. Ooh, four glass blocks for an emerald. Wow. Guys are crooks. Anyway, that's uh, this episode of Slowville. And this is Georgia551 and uh, the squid words of this wonderful community saying, have a good one. And in fact, he's in a rush to get away. In fact, he's awful close to that guy. Oh, now they're they're real close. So uh, maybe something's gonna happen. I do have the extra sprites turned off. Nope, nothing happened. So if they were making love, there would be no little hearts floating over their heads. So I mean, there are some things that I have turned off, which do. Oh. Can I see a baby be created there? No, I'm not talking about that one that ran by and came back that you just saw. Alrighty, there they go. This is George F. 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 Run saying, hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.